Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Thank you for joining me. This is Michael Plotkin, the principal of Pierre Van Cortland Middle School, and I am so happy to be coming to you with this message about the end of year activities for our eighth grade students. As you know, it's been a interesting four years. Middle school's hard enough, but throw in a pandemic in there, and it could be even more interesting. But here's the thing I want you to know is your children have fared well at PVC Middle School, and thank you for your partnership over the years. The information I share with you uh, through this video will cover things like the Regents exams, the World Language Assessment, and the other end of the year activities, including the eighth grade picnic, the eighth grade boat dance, and graduation ceremonies. So let us begin. So every child in the eighth grade will be taking the Living Environment Regents on Wednesday, June 14th at 12 p.m. at Croton Harmon High School. This test will be given in one of the gymnasiums and we will start at 12 p.m., which means that we will call down the students for lunch prior to that so they can eat and then walk up with us to the high school with adult supervision and take their test. The next day, the students who take algebra, not math eight, just algebra, will take the regents in algebra one common core on Thursday, June 15th at 12 p.m. The same arrangement will be made for lunch prior to the sitting for the exam. We ask that every child brings pens and pencils so they can complete their exams on both days. And we want parents to know that no student leaves early from the test environment prior to about two hours, and they will be ready for normal dismissal. Now, if your child has extended time on their IEP, then we would arrange for them to have those accommodations fulfilled, and of course, for transportation afterwards by asking them to call you to send someone to pick them up. Also in June are a battery of assessments known as the World Language Assessment, depending on what language your child takes, whether it be French, Spanish, or Mandarin, they will take a series of assessments. These include the speaking portion, listening and writing portion of these exams. We will have precise dates that we will share with them and with you as we get closer to June. Just like the Regents, the World Language Assessment grants students high school credit that is applicable to their high school diploma requirements. Um, this is not a Regents exam, though. This is a locally developed exam. And when a child passes the class and passes the exam, they receive high school credit, allowing them to take um, the next language class at the high school. That week, also, once the regents are done, we will have our eighth grade picnic. This is a time when our students board a bus late in the morning on June 16th and head just a little bit north to Yorktown to Franklin Delano Roosevelt State Park. We will meet at a site. We will have a good time by playing and having activities and celebrating. I will be barbecuing for the students. Uh, we will be making hamburgers, hot dogs, and of course, some vegan choices as well. Um, we generally return back to school with plenty of time for students to pick up their normal uh, transportation and prior to dismissal time. We look forward to that day. We ask that they bring some water, maybe some sunscreen, nothing too valuable. Uh, I don't want um, you know rare, rare things brought on the trip. So this way, there's no chance of losing it. And during the week of June 19th, we will pick a day where we distribute in the afternoon yearbooks to our students. And that means that we will take like from lunch on to tell students here, we're going to give ice cream, we're going to call you up, you get your yearbook, and then they have an opportunity, an hour and a half to sign them, to hang out, and to just be with their friends. This is a very important thing because, again, we know that middle school is coming to an end and we want to help students um, memorialize this time in their lives. And last but not least, and most important, is the PVC Middle School Boat Dance. This is an eighth grade tradition that's gone on for about two decades. On June 21st, that's a Wednesday, it's a half day. Students will go home at about 11 a.m. 
and have to return to school about 3.45, 4 o'clock to board a bus to Manhattan. Once we get down to Manhattan, we will meet our crews on Pier 36, and then we will cruise out of Pier 36 down the East River into New York Harbor, maybe up, up the Hudson a little bit, and finally around the Statue of Liberty. This trip is a wonderful experience, and I'll show you why, because we are going on a boat called the Majestic Princess. We've used this boat many times in the past. There's two decks, there's a DJ and dance floor. It can hold our group without a problem. There's security, chaperones. The boat is US Coast Guard certified and insured, and it's easy to monitor students while on this excursion. Everything is included in the price, which I'll get to in a moment. The bus ride down is about two hours. Uh, we will board the bus at about six, uh, uh, the boat at about 6 p.m., be on the boat to 10 p.m., and then disembark back onto the buses and return to school by 11.15, 11 11.30. I haven't met a group of students that don't really appreciate this. And while they're on the boat, dinner will be served. Obviously, there'll be hors d'oeuvres and then a buffet style dinner. There'll be open bar with soft drinks, of course, only and desserts. Uh, everything is is uh, included in the price for this and the picnic. So let us get to the cost. It is will be about $80 per student. And what we will do is we also, PTA also contributes money to this. The student council contributes money to this to keep the price down and affordable. And what I want people to understand that if any family or you know of anyone who's having difficulty financially and needs help, please just reach out to me or your school council. We keep such information very confidential and want to make sure that all of our students can participate in this wonderful, wonderful event. We have 127 students going, about 14 chaperones. We take medical bags, including our first aid kits and AED and our chaperones. Ride the bus, do roll call, make sure we got everyone, and we will have easy access to the boat once in Manhattan in a contained area. So very excited about that, and I'm very excited about this. And our last slide here is this, our graduation ceremony on Friday. June 23rd, 2023, I invite you to attend the PVC graduation ceremony, 9 a.m. on the 23rd at Croton Point Park. When you enter the park, you will park in the lots that are indicated here, and your students, your child will go to the pavilion that you'll see to the west of the parking lot. And as you see the red star, that is where the ceremony will be. You will not be able to miss it because you will see a tremendous white tent set up in that field. All of your family members are welcome. There is ample parking. You will have after the ability to take photographs by the water. And we will have rehearsal for our children, our students on the 20th, 21st, and 22nd of June in the morning. So please get them here that day. We will start promptly after announcement, which is about 8.05. Um, so during the ceremony, which is about 60 minutes, we will have a variety of speakers, a few musical numbers, and then, of course, we will deliver the diplomas to each child by calling their name and asking them to walk around the stage. The one thing I will ask for this, as well as for the boat dance, is that the attire for the evening and for this event, the ceremony, is smart casual. I would love you know, people to wear dresses, skirts, pants, and college shirts, especially for graduation ceremony, please no t-shirts or shorts. I want our students to look dignified and feel dignified. They've earned this ceremony. We should be very proud of them. I know I am. And I'm really looking forward to these events. Last but not least, I just want to say congratulations we're almost at the end of a four-year journey together, and boy, was it some journey. And I think that our children are well-positioned to move on to the high school, wherever they're going, to continue their success and their development. If at all you have any questions, please let me know, as I'm happy to answer them. 
And it's been a pleasure serving you and your children for the last four years. Take care, and I look forward to seeing you relatively soon.